The hardest thing about posting content on YouTube is that I never feel like it's good enough. Like I don't feel like my vlogs are up to par and there's always somebody out there who is living a better life than I am. But the more I think about it, the more I can understand how comparison is the thief of joy. And the really sucky part about that mindset is that I love creating content and I love filming my life and being able to watch it back, enjoying all the memories that were made and like reminiscing about all that good time that I had in a different city or with the people that I enjoy hanging out with. And so that brings us up to this past weekend. I went out to Seattle with the core intention of vlogging everything that I was doing. I did do that, but I recorded everything in a vertical format, so it's not great for YouTube videos. And I did that because it's easier. And I was like really shy with going out and recording myself, just living my life, sticking my camera in everything and recording a proper vlog. But honestly, who really cares? The videos that I post is for my enjoyment and I love doing it. Like I love making these videos and spending the time on them. So I honestly think I just got to get out of my own way and just continue to post all the stuff that I want to be posting. So if anything, this video is just a reminder to myself that forget what other people think and just make the videos that you really want to make. Put it out there for the world to see. Because honestly, those who matter don't mind and those who mind don't matter. And on that note, welcome to my weekend in Seattle. Seattle. First off, let's start with how I got to Seattle. Now, it was a very last minute trip for me. And so lucky enough, I had other friends who was going to be heading out to Seattle to visit some other friends of ours. And so two days before they left, I asked if I could bum a ride. And fortunately for me, they still had space. Now we left Thursday night and right when we got there, we were feeling a little bit peckish. One of my friends that I had driven there with was craving pho, so that's what we did. We got pho right when we landed in Seattle. Late at night, it was like nine, almost 10 o'clock, and a lot of the spots were closed, but luckily enough, we found one that was still open. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to draw a heart and then it just did Now arriving in Seattle on a Thursday night meant that the very next day, essentially everybody was working. Ooh. So it just so happened that Friday is one of the days where my uncle goes to play badminton at a badminton club. I was lucky enough that he was able to bring me along. <laughs> And so we spent about four hours doing that from like noon to four. And I found out that badminton is so much harder of a sport than everyone gives it credit for. <laughs> And now when we finished playing badminton, it was the perfect time for my friend who had just gone off of work. I was hungry at the time. So we went to go get some Korean hot pot. And this place was very different because they gave you a bowl and then you would pick out all of your ingredients, bring it up to the cash register, and they would weigh all of your ingredients before charging you for your meal. And knowing me, I always overpack. There were so many good items and so many good ingredients that I kept on putting stuff into my bowl. And by the end of it, I had three pounds of food Ooh. and they were charging $16 a pound. So my food came out to be 50 bucks, which is a lot for hot pot. But that's okay because the food was really good and we were able to take leftovers. Since we both had a pretty full day, we went back to my friend's place and then we watched a movie and then we crashed. The next day. And so the entire reason of me coming to visit my friend in Seattle was because he had recently just moved there. I have had family in Seattle essentially all of my life. So I have been around to a lot of the places, which is where we ran into an issue because everything that he suggested that we could do, I had already done multiple times on my previous trips to Seattle whenever I would come to visit family or friends. Tastes like lemonade. Yeah, just straight up lemonade. No huckleberry. <laughs>
And so we went to go check out his job, which is the entire reason that he had to move to a different city. And we got to use these really cool shopping carts where you can shop and scan on the go. And then once you're done, you just instantly pay out with your card and you don't even have to go through and take all your items out of your cart and rescan it and then place them back in. It was really neat. And now to my favorite part of the day, which is the food. Every single time I come out to Seattle, I always love trying the different types of cuisines and the new restaurants because they just have so many more than what we have to offer in my small hometown. My friend is Filipino and he had been dying to try this Filipino pizza place for a very long time. And that's perfect because I have never tried Filipino inspired pizza as well. We got this one pizza that was loaded with beef adobo and it had pickled cabbage, cheese, and the flavors just mesh so well together on top of a deep dish pizza that it was almost mind boggling to me because I had never tried anything similar to that before in my life. Holy shit, you gotta try this, bro. And boy, oh boy, were they hitting. <laughs> And now we only got two personalized pizzas, so we weren't quite full just yet. There was another spot that my friend had been to before, and this was also close enough to another friend of ours who just happened to be off that weekend as well. So we picked him up and we all went to go get some Cubanos. Now these Cubanos were smacking. The flavor was there and it was perfect. The only thing was that we had let the pizza settle and it finally hit us right when we got to the Cubanos spot we each ordered a sandwich but none of us could finish our food and with nothing left to do we really didn't have any more plans for the day we're like let's go get some coffee and so for the experience of trying new things we went to a Scandinavian coffee shop and we each picked a drink from their like fall specials drinks that they were only gonna have for a limited amount of time and now it was different because the flavors of the coffee were lighter and more subtle and they had different aromas to them I got one with a cardamom in there and that one was kind of just throwing me off the entire time. It was good, but it wasn't something that I was used to in my coffee. So now that we are full and well caffeinated, we decided our final stop was going to be at Unique Low to go clothing shopping for my friend so that he could update his wardrobe. And so now me and my other friend that were with him decided that it would be kind of fun to choose outfits for him and see who would have the better style and the better fit. He agreed to to go along with it. So then we went out to go pick our outfits that we thought would suit him, tried on the clothes. was honestly some of the most fun that I have ever had because I got to play stylist for a day. I love looking for clothes and shopping, putting different styles and outfits together, but that was kind of a fun experience. I would definitely want to do that again. <laughs> So yeah, that essentially wraps up my weekend in Seattle. Seeing him in a new city and living his best life was just so awesome. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this type of style of vlog. I'm kind of experimenting new things and new video ideas and new content ideas because I'm always so stuck about what I should post or what I should be doing. Thanks for sticking around and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a beautiful day, you beautiful people. Look, they said that I couldn't do it, so I went and did it. Double use only, you know I've been.